Hey Fancy Beauty Symbols, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while and um, I've missed you guys. I've missed you guys very much. So today's video is going to be one that I have wrestled with for quite some time. And I am in a mindset right now where I am on a journey and I'm staying on the journey to be obedient to God and to his will and to what it is that he wants me to do in my life. And so I keep getting a message to do this to bring this message to you guys as a way for us to heal ourselves um, and to get us to the path where God wants us to be in our life. So in order to do that, he has told me that I need to share the word in order for us to become better. And in order to do that, we have to do it in steps. Everything in life, he wants us to do in steps. The first step, of course, is for us to be able to forgive ourselves for the things that we have done in our lives that are not pleasing to his sight. And so I pulled uh, a couple scriptures from the Bible that talks about forgiveness. And the forgiveness can be anything from the way you parent your children, the way you walk with your mate. It could be the way that you correspond with your, your friends and your family members. Um, it, it can also go into how you approach your career and things of that nature. So in whatever way that this word is going to come to you, I want you to use it and God wants you to use it and apply it to whatever area in your life that you need to apply it to. So the first scripture we're going to go through is uh, John 1 and 9. And I actually feel like I need to take it even further than that. Because when you look at John 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. And the Word was God, was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made. Now I want to take a moment and, and just kind of look at that for a second. Because he made us, right? He made all living things. And so he already knew the things that we were going to do that were good and that were bad. The things that we would ask forgiveness for and those things that we would struggle with to ask for forgiveness for. And so let's read that again. Three, all things were made through him and without him, nothing was made that was nothing. I'm sorry. All things were made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. Four, in him was life. In him was life. He gives life. And the life was the light of men, and the light shines in the darkness. So even in our darkest moment, even in those moments that we are struggling with right now to be able to forgive ourselves for, 
there is already a light there. There is already a light there. And all he wants you to do is just walk through that light because he's going to forgive you for whatever it is that you have done that you feel like is so dark and is so discouraging and is so heavy that you can't find your way to forgive yourself for. I know a lot of times that our children take us through things and they say things to us in the heat of the moment and you you start to manifest those things in yourself. And so now in that darkness, in that period of darkness, he's telling you there's light there. All you have to do is just ask for forgiveness for those things. You know deep down inside if you treated your friend right or wrong. You know deep down in your heart if you have done anything against your marriage, against your co-workers, against your friends. You know in your heart of hearts that you need to ask for forgiveness. And you know that God has a light shine on these things. It's in the dark in your mind. It's in the dark. But God is saying, I have a light there to show you that there's a way out. And I'm the way out. He's telling you. He's the way out. And it goes on to read, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Because that sin can't survive in the light of the Lord. It has to come through that darkness. It, it won't stay there because the darkness is not able to hold on to that sin. Once you let yourself forgive yourself, that sin and that it goes away. It goes away from you. It's no longer written in your book. It's gone. Because that's how magnificent God is when he says the light is there in the darkness. He clears it all up. Six, there was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came from, a, this man came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which gives light to every man coming into the world. So he's, he's already blessed us before we were even born. There's a purpose for each and every one of us. And God already knew the path we were going to take and once we get to the once we get to where he wants us to be then we will see that our destiny was already written we have to know that before we even get there in order to get there you have to ask for forgiveness for being in the in the darkness of that sin Ten. He was in the world and the world was made through him, was made through God. And the world did not know him. He came to his own and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. We're born of God. We're born of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. 
John bore witness of him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. And of his fullness we have all received in grace for grace. For the law was given through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has seen God at any time. The only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. Now this is the testimony of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? They wanted to know, Who is this? He confessed and did not deny, but confessed, I am not the Christ. 21. And they asked him, What then are ye, Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? And he answered, no. Then they, they said to him, who are you that we may give an answer to those who sent us? What do you say about yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord. And that's where we all have to come to that place in our lives when there, when there are things that are holding us down. No matter how heavy that you feel it is, no matter what it is, whatever happened in your childhood, it's not your fault. And you have to be able to look at yourself in the mirror and forgive yourself and know that God has forgiven you because you have to be able to accept that forgiveness so that you will be able to release yourself so that you can get to the blessings that God has for you, for your life. I had to go through this myself. I'm going through it. Right now, as we speak, it's a lot of things. Well, I'm not going to say a lot of things. There are things, decisions that I made. And that's another thing. When we are going through this path of forgiveness, we have to take ownership for the decisions that we made. And those that's the outcome. When you make those decisions and it goes against God, it's not God that put you there. You put yourself there. And in order to be released from that, you have to take ownership and you have to ask for forgiveness for those decisions that you made that caused you to fall short of the glory of God, to take you off the path of righteousness for you to get to where you need to be, where God made you. He already put your path and you have to get back on the on that path in order to get to the glory, in order to be able to receive those blessings that he has for you there. You have to get yourself in a mindset that is going to allow you to free yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually in order to receive the abundance of joy in your life. It's time to let all of that pain go. Whatever it is that you feel like is so heavy, is so wrong, is so dark that God won't forgive you for that. God forgives us for everything. God forgives us for everything. And the only thing that's stopping you from the forgiveness of God is you. Because you won't forgive yourself. 
you're letting yourself keep you in the darkness. And you have to let it go. I tell myself the same thing. You have to let it go. Whether in my case, I work too much and I, I didn't stay focused on what I should have stayed focused on, which was God. I was a young mother. I didn't know any different. I didn't know any better. All I knew was you got to make a way. You got to make a way. And it wasn't for me to make a way. It was for God to show me and for me to follow the path that I was supposed to go down. And he already had it laid out for me. No matter what it is that is holding you down, that you can't look at yourself totally in the mirror and say, I am good. I am a good person. I have a good heart. I have good intentions. I believe in God. I want to walk in the righteousness of the Lord. I want to have better self-esteem. I want to be independent. I want to reach my goal. I want to be in a better career choice. All that is there for you. All we have to do is just let go and forgive ourselves for the shortcomings that God already knew we were going to have, that we were going to run into. He already knew it. He already knew it. And he's already prepared for us the forgiving place in that darkness. That's a dark space that we keep ourselves locked into. He's not holding us hostage in that spot. He's not holding us hostage in that circumstance. He's not holding us hostage, hostage for the decisions that we made, that we put ourselves into. We do that. We do that to ourselves. And he said, in order for you to unlock it, you got the key. And all you... It's simple. It's simple. All you have to do is just say, Father, please forgive me. And then in that very instant, tell yourself, I forgive you. You literally have to look at yourself and tell yourself, I release you. You are no longer in bondage because I have forgiven myself. Once you do that, in that instance, and I'm telling you this because I'm experiencing it in my own life right now. I feel so free, so much light. Even though I'm in a very... challenging time in my life right now I still praise God and I, I'm thanking him for this season that I'm in yes we all get to a point where we're like okay I cannot do this anymore I'm tired you putting so much on my plate right now and I don't see a way out it's not for you to see a way out. It's not for me to see my way out. We have to really, really, really trust in God and know that he's going to get us through.
I'm going to end it here and I am going to incorporate this of course on the channel this is going to be as you can tell by the title work on me Wednesday so I'm going to continue to pray and ask God what I should bring to you all that will help us all of you and me we're in this together what message I should bring to you what content um, should should we focus on next and he has been beating forgiveness over my head for the last three weeks if not more than that and every time something kept coming up every Wednesday would go by and I'm like oh my goodness I didn't get a chance to get that video put up and today I said not no, no excuse today. I'm taking charge. I'm rebuking the devil. And I'm going to get this message up because it needs to reach someone that's struggling right now with forgiving themselves. We have to get out of the way of our own selves. We have to because God has so much in store for us. And it's not so much the material things that you even want to, it, it, it's, the, it's just being able to feel that freedom, to feel that weight to be lifted off of your spirit on the inside. Once you release yourself from it all, you will feel it. And it's going to feel so amazing. I'm telling you, Fancy Beauty and Bowls, it's going to feel so good. And you're going to be like, why did I wait so long to forgive myself? I'm going to close now. And I will close with a word of prayer. Father God, I thank you for this message and I ask that it be reached to those that it needs to reach to touch the lives of those that it needs to touch and that they will be able to accept this message in its purest form because it all comes from you Father God I ask you Father God to strengthen them in their walk, in their life with you, Father God. I ask you and I claim it in the name of Jesus, Father God, that they will be released from whatever burden is on their hearts, Father God, whether it be from their childhood or whether it be from their teen years or their adult years, Father God. Because you said it's never too late for you to forgive yourself, for you to come to me. And I will forgive you and I will release those burdens from you and allow you to place them at my feet. Father God, I thank you for the mercy. I thank you for the grace. I thank you for the blessings that you are bestowing upon this world, Father God. Right now is minuscule. Right now is so small that we can't even see it. We can't even feel it. But Father God, that's what faith is. It's small, but it's so powerful. And I thank you so much for your grace, your mercy, and your encouragement that you give to us each and every day, Father God. I ask this word to be anointed. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. All right, Fancy Beauties and Bows, you all have a wonderful rest of your week. Enjoy your weekend. Of course, I will keep the other um, hoopla stuff that I have on the channel going. I just want some meat in, in this channel, and I want some 
um, inspiration, some motivation that we need so we could keep going and we could keep fighting and we can keep reaching out for God's unchanging hand. That's all I want. All right, fancy beauties and bows, you guys be blessed and stay fancy. And I'll see you in the next video.